This video is a review of Hot Cross Buns, but this time we're going to learn how to play this song with the notes on the music staff. We'll start with half notes of D, C, and B flat, and then a half rest. So we have a line note on line four, space note on space three, and then another line note on line three. I'll play those. You'll notice that the notes are moving from line to space to line. When notes do that, they are stepping. In this case, the notes are stepping down the music staff. You'll notice that when moving down the staff, the notes move lower on the staff. And when going up the staff, the notes move higher. And that corresponds with how the notes sound on the flute. Low notes on the staff for the flute are going to sound low, and high notes on the staff for the flute are going to sound high. And it's important to know this for flute because a lot of our fingerings for both low notes and high notes are the same fingers. So you have to be able to see and hear the difference when you play them. So for example, a B flat. My fingers didn't change at all, but I was playing B flats both times. So the B flat in the staff, of course, is the lower one and a higher B flat would be higher on the music staff. We're going to now repeat that stepping action of hot cross buns for the next measure, D, C, and B flat. Next, we'll see quarter notes in our measures. We have four B flats and then four Cs. Those are each stepping up. So let's play four B flats and four Cs. And then we have half notes stepping down again, D, C, B flat. Okay, so now we'll play the entire song and read our music while we play it. Next, we'll review Au Claire de la Lune, also with reading our music notes on the staff. So we'll start with B flat on line three, then we step up to C in the first measure, and then we have a half note D and a half note C. Let's try that. Then in the next measure, we have a new motion in music that we call skipping, or we move in thirds because the notes are three steps apart. Um, those notes move from line to line, B flat to D. We can also see a skipping motion or thirds from space to space, but in this song, we don't have that. Then after that skip B flat to D, we step down again to two Cs, two quarter note Cs, then a B flat half note, and a half rest. So let's try that skipping motion. That's our B flat D skipping motion. Now we'll play B flat D then C C B flat. So then as you know to finish the song we just repeat everything we just did to play the song. So Let's do that and read our music at the same time. One, two, three. And that's how we read Hot Cross Buns and Au Claire de la Lune.